Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, I've been feeling a little bit down the last few days. So in an effort to both cheer myself up and distract me from the stuff that's got me feeling all down, I've been watching some Star Trek. And I am here to tell you, Star Trek got it horribly wrong. Star Trek is stupid. Star Trek should never again be deified as being the inspiration for the modern age, because it's really not. I mean, for years now, we've been hearing about how Star Trek, the original communicators, they inspired the mobile phone revolution even though two-way radios came way before those things. But people like to say, hey, Star Trek got it right. They they saw, the, they envisioned the future when we all have these little handheld communication devices we can talk to anyone anytime we like. And you look at the later series like Star Trek The Next Generation, they had those little badges which were inbuilt little communicators. You just go, boom, talk to whoever you like. And I've heard people say, well, that thing, that came out before Bluetooth was here. That clearly inspired the Bluetooth revolution. And of course in that same series you see crew members walking around all the time with the PADD devices, PADD pad, which is a little sort of 7 to 10 inch slate type computing device where they're writing notes on or they're handing information around with it and all that sort of stuff. And that never made sense to me anyway. Well, why would you just hand someone a pad instead of just emailing the information? Does email not exist in the Star Trek future? Can you not just send a file to someone else's pad? You have to literally walk into their office and hand them the information on this pad instead of sending it wirelessly to their terminal? Star Trek got way wrong there. That's been credited with the inspiration for the iPad, but it's not. The iPad is already more than that pad ever, ever did. In the Star Trek universe, they even still had separate huge devices for taking photographs, well, essentially photographs, or 3D holographic holographs, or whatever they wanted to call them. You watch in, in Star Trek Voyager, the, 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 the holographic doctor was a big fan of taking holographic images. It's a huge thing. It's just like, boom, cheek. Star Trek is always credited with being the inspiration for a whole bunch of stuff. And you talk to anyone who works at NASA, they said they were inspired by Star Trek. You talk to any like, physicist out there, they're like, Star Trek, we working on we want to get a warp drive going. I mean, it was dreamed up by some stupid TV writer, but oh, I shouldn't call Gene Rob me a stupid TV writer. That's really rude. The guy was awesome. God rest his sorry bones. Actually, no bones, he got shot into space, didn't he? But that's neither here nor there. But it's time to stop deifying Star Trek as the inspiration for the modern age because it's really not. They got almost everything about it wrong. This is a wireless communication device. This is a wireless data uh, terminal. This is a camera. This is a video camera, a still camera. This, you can do everything on this that they're already using in Star Trek for a whole bunch of different devices. And that's where Star Trek got it really, really wrong. Convergence. One device to rule them all. We're not going to have a whole bunch of different devices. We're going to have one grey goo device made out of like a little nanobot central sitting inside our brain probably and it'll do everything we want it to ever do and we'll have cameras in our eyes and all kinds of crazy stuff. Star Trek got it wrong. Star Trek sucks. No, no, Star Trek doesn't suck. Star Trek's a good show, but it, it just, it's wrong. It shouldn't be credited with inspiring our future anymore because it's, it's just out of date. It's wrong. Anyway, I'm Blundy. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Beam me up, Snotty. No, that's Wayne's world.